Hi, I'm Jamie Saragossi. I'm the head of the Health Sciences Library at Stony Brook University. And could you just briefly describe the resources and the services performed in your department? Sure. Um, so we serve the five schools in the health sciences, the School of Nursing, the School of Dental Medicine, Social Welfare, School of Medicine, um, also the program in public health. Um, did I leave anybody out? No, I think you got it. Okay. And uh, we also serve all of our clinical departments here. So the hospital and the veterans home. Um, and we have a wide range of resources that we subscribe to in support of those programs and departments. Um, so we um, have things like point of care tools, which are clinically focused, usually evidence-based tools that will provide clinical information um, at the patient bedside. And then we have um, tools and resources for students for helping them study for uh, standardized exams like the USMLE, um, or we have resources that can help you in your anatomy classes. So we have um, apps that you can download to kind of manipulate skeletons and peel back layers um, of the skin, look at the different nerve, uh, nerves that are in the body. Um, and we have video series that can help with that as well. Um, and then we have our traditional databases that we subscribe to to assist in um, finding scholarly articles for research projects as well. Um, so those are our resources. And in terms of services, the librarians, um, we have five wonderful librarians here that are happy to help at any time. Um, so we support uh, research projects through consultations. Right now we're doing all um, our consultations via Zoom, but it seems to be working well. Um, we can support faculty research in systematic reviews by providing search strategies and protocols, um, trainings on EndNote and uh, screening software. Um, and we're just, we're here to help. Um, so no question is too big or small. Um, you know, we, we want to hear from the students and the faculty so that we can assist them as best we can. So I, I definitely use the anatomy resources that you told me about when we were talking and they're so helpful. Oh, and wonderful. I, I just took an EndNote training too and that was really great because I didn't even know that we had it until I found it. So is there anything that you want more health science students like myself to take away from this video? Maybe something that you wish we all kind of were aware of? Sure, so I think you kind of um, hit the nail on the head there is that we do have so many resources that are available that you may not know about until they're introduced to you. Um, so we have what we've put together a, a list of research guides, we call them on the home page. So if you're on the library website, there's a link to health sciences research guides. And each of the specialized librarians has put together a list. It's kind of a curated list of resources that we have available on a particular topic. Um, so we'll have things like if you're taking anatomy courses, what are all the anatomy apps and tools that we have that are helpful for you? Um, if you are doing a systematic review, we have a, a research guide that will walk you through the steps in the systematic review process. Um, and all of those guides also contain our contact information. So at any point, if you get stuck, we're happy to help. Um, but I definitely think it's worth investing a few minutes of time at the beginning of your, um, your time here or when you have a project, just to go through our resource lists and see if there's anything that may be um, helpful for you. So we don't just have the traditional resources that you think of in a library. Um, we're a lot more than, than books and journals here at the Health Sciences Library, especially. Yes, definitely. And I'm going to provide a link to the research guides probably in the captions so that everyone else can go check that out. And Absolutely. thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having me.